Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we're here today doing the Project Eden scenario. Uh, I went flying off around the universe here to try and look for a space station, and we found one. So we headed off to Geneva Chai Station. And that is, it was quite the, it was like 80 some odd uh, pentaxid to get there. And I think we came from there or somewhere. Anyway, um, didn't we? Planet, I can't click on it. Oh, there it goes. Um, so yeah, there's Agrimed. And then we went and we are now, we went to the, Closer to the center there, Holder X. Um, so now that's where our that's where our space base is in Holder X. So we went to there and then way out to there. But what that did was opened up. <clears throat> excuse me. God, I'm trying to just I'm trying to get used to the new map. Uh, navigating around so you'll just have to bear with me uh, okay so it's good oh, come on uh, which one is which so one of them went to oh Veros but we've been to Ver see Oh, really? It just goes to two places, Agrimed and Barros. We've already... It's just a black desert. We don't even need to go there anymore. Oh, that sucks. I thought it opened up another. Because this... The other, the second one showed up when I warped there. Oh, well. Okay, well, that sucks. That leads nowhere. But, in the meantime, we're here... And I'll show you around real quick. So this trading station is pretty awesome. They have a um, a fully enclosed uh, force field docking bay for CVs, small CVs. So my little guy fit in there, no problem. Then they have a couple smaller SV ones. Uh, this base is not, it's still under construction, so it's not done yet. But you can see they put vendors in. Uh, now these are all custom vendors, but they haven't actually equipped them yet. They're, they just sell vegetables. They just sell canned food, all four of them. Um, that's probably coming in on um, later on this guy he's interweb so he'll buy all the uh, uh, tier 2 and higher end weapons this guy is the uh, mining corp guy buys drills stuff like that we can buy pentaxin from him um, and magnesium stuff like that and then this guy is the Servant Corp trader, the standard Servant Corp. But he sells large optonic bridges and matrix. So we can actually buy the stuff we need for CVs and bases for the CPU stuff. Um, this guy is OK Medical. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, while I'm here, I should buy all this stuff so that it resets and he makes it available again. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And then we have Quantum Star CPU Extender. What does he sell? He sells all of them. So we can get the small ones, the bridges, the matrices, 
the large ones. So we can get everything we need in the way of CPU here. Uh, it's just going to require uh, lots of credits. Now we can also make them, but it requires gold ingots and a lot of gold ingots, and I just can't find any. And none of these guys seem to want to sell gold ingots, so because <clears throat> if they have gold as a trade item, they don't have any. They'll buy it, but they won't sell it, it seems like they don't stock any. All the sprouts, and then... And he also sells the small optronic parts for SV's HVs. Okay. So, and he buys the basic weapons. So, pretty much every vendor is here. And, oh yeah, Project Eden... And then these holographic screens, we can sell them for mass money if we find any. So when we find these, these are like gold. These are these are worth a lot. So if we find any of these holographic screens, we know where to come sell them. Okay, guys. Um, well, I'm going to go around and mine up all this and tax it around this area. Then we're going to be going... <sighs> We're going to go try and find a UHC vessel. So we will be warping around. I'll come grab you when we're ready. Okay. Uh, you know what? I've kind of decided to stick around and maybe buy, try and acquire four of the small optronic bridges because uh, that'll allow me to step up into a tier three small vessel and that'll allow us to do things like uh, shields and whatnot so that guy this guy had it for sale six seven five seven eight oh that's more expensive i think this guy was six four wasn't it yeah okay so we can afford two of those right now let's buy two of them so only got two in stock, so we're going to buy those out, and we're almost broke. <laughs> but we now have two optronic, small optron, ugh, optronic bridges. Couldn't say optronic for some reason. Small optronic. Small. It uh, wasn't really a tongue twister. It was for me for a second. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, this guy, is he going to buy more of our craft? I think. He is... Oh, yeah, he will. He'll do five more. Okay. Okay, well, that's cool. Gold ingots? Nope, he won't sell gold ingots. But he does have refined pentaxid. So we're going to go ahead and buy all that up. We do need copper, though. We're almost out of copper. We're going to go... Every time chance we get to buy pentaxid, though, we got to do it, so... How much can we afford? Nope. Uh, can we afford... 50? At, oh, we're just shy. We can almost afford 50. Let's try 48. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's buy that. And we're down to almost no money, but we got ourselves a, two small optronic bridges, which is halfway to being able to spawn in a fighter jet. Uh, so we're doing good here. We're doing good. That was making a bunch of weapons and selling it to them, but the guy just won't buy anymore because they're all bought out. Let's see if we can sleep for the night. I don't know if we've... Will it let us? Yes, it will. Sweet. Okay, let's go see if they'll buy more stuff. It's probably too quick. I don't think they will. But we'll go take a quick look. 
So it was, uh, who was it that was buying all my crap? This guy. Pistol, shotgun, oh! Assault, no, he didn't reset. No, because he's still at max. Well, you know what, we're going to come back and let's keep, he's got a bunch of them too, so that's okay. Uh, maybe we can loot some or something too. We need to if we can if we can get some ingots, gold ingots, we can make them. It's like God, there's no ingots or there's no gold anywhere. Okay, <sighs> let's take a look at the map. We got to try and figure this out. So the pentaxid. What did we get for Pentaxid here? It was, um, did I actually, yeah, we got 527 now. So we're, we're doing good. We're doing good for the Pentaxid, but it uses a lot to fly, to warp around. Like it's just, holy crap. Just constantly feeding stacks and stacks into the pentaxid tanks now. It's like, holy crap. <laughs> uh, well, we got to go somewhere else, obviously, because we can't stick around here forever. We're almost out of, re uh, out of, I mean, we could do play the, we could play the trader game and sleep and wait. And I think they'll reset eventually, but I, I don't feel like twiddling my thumbs and doing nothing. It doesn't sound like any fun. Okay. Well, we're going to figure out where we're going to go. So we're here. We only have one. We have two options. So, okay. Can we get over to there? No. So we can either, I got to go somewhere that we haven't been yet, basically. I got to open up a different warp line, right? That's the problem. I haven't, I open up a warp line over that way. Not sure if I can. Let's take a look. I don't know if I've been here. I click on it. Come on. Oh, there we go. So easy. Okay, so it's got a bunch. Wow, look at the ridiculous line though to warp from there. And have we been there? I don't think we have. What is it anyway? Well, odd temperate starter. Oh. Pummel Desert. So I don't think we've been to either of those. Obviously not. Odd Temperate Starter. Oh, I see. We could have got there from over there. That's why we're giving a warp line. Uh, but this Odd Temperate Starter. Very interesting. And then it's right beside... Oh, no. It's got its own... The moons. That's weird. Why do the moons have their own... Uh, um, Why do the moons have their own orbit or their own orbit line? That's interesting. That's first. That's the only sector that does that. Whatever. It's odd, right? <laughs> Difficulty five. Holy crap! Content. It's breathable. Iron copper. So it's just the basics. We do need to get all the basics again, right? Uh, difficulty three. I don't know what it's going to unlock. Obviously, it's going to unlock something if we go there. Um, yeah. 
I was hoping to try and get even closer to the sun. We haven't even hit a lava planet yet, so. <laughs> uh, crap. So we've been to those, and those are all the warp lines. I've been to all those now. We haven't been here. Okay, so how do we get there? Hydral. Okay, so that's not too bad. We can... Well, that's way the frick out there. So we got to get back to high jaw. So that means this one. So Agrimed and then and then Bruthen. Then there, then all the way. Whew, that's a lot of frickin' pentaxid. Okay, so here we go, 81 for this one. Jeez, see what I'm talking about? It's it's just, we're these, this scenario, the warping around is just insane. It's not normal. Um... And then the zigzagged all over the frickin' place to get to, um, like, the warp points and stuff. Having to, like, warp 100 to get to a small little cluster of things that are right beside another cluster that you can't warp to. It's like, oh, come on. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Okay, here we go. 81. And I'm going to fill the tank up again because we won't have enough. Right? Really? Are you going to do this? You're going to You're going to kill our Why does it do that? That's a horrible bug. It kills the heads up and I got to like cycle through the F6 menu a few times and it doesn't even work the few first time around. I've got to cycle through twice it's like okay another little bug dance that you gotta go through why are we flying to the planet why that's not what I want to do okay so now we're at agromed and then we can warp to I'm really disappointed Sackett had no connectors. Anyway, we can warp to this one. Come on. So that's 35. Where are you? Do we have we have 43 in the tank? Okay, good. I'll have to uh, get some more whipped up right away here. I don't think I have any more made. Take a look really quick. Uh, let's see. We've got not in there. Nope. That's where it should have been. Uh, oh, I got two two areas with fuel and oxygen. That's awesome. You know, my HB or my my CV is not very uh, well organized. Sorry. Okay, well, let's just... I don't need this stuff on me either. Now let's just dump that in there. Keep that. We'll get rid of that because we're going to carry the laser rifle around now. Because we are level 20, so we can start making ammo for it. Even though it takes pentaxid to make the ammo. <laughs> okay. We need fuel. So, we need a lot of it. <clears throat> um... We can't go directly into the Pentaxa tank, can we? No. Okay. So what do we want? We want like another 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That'll give us 100. It's not going to be enough. 20, 30, 40, 50. That'll be another 100. Okay. And then 
So while that's pumping away, let's whoa, 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 something red. Oh, full carrier. That's okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. And what is, oh, that was the, this is Bruthen, is it? Yes. That's where that uh, trading station is. That. I mean, we could go there and sell stuff, too. They don't have any of the uh, gizmos, the CPU units, though, there. we got to go all the way to that space station, which is harsh. Does that look like a resource asteroid? Right there. Different colors. Huh? Doesn't it? Am I just seeing things? Wow. Saskusium. <laughs> 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 that was kind of funny. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so I just, I completely, I don't know how I spotted that. I just, I was looking over and went, oh, huh, that asteroid kind of looks like it has spots on it. Let's go take a look. And they are spots. There's Askazam spots! Wow, what a find. Nothing around. It's not even guarded. Holy crap, holy. Okay, I'm going to mine this out. I'm going to mine this out. And I'll come grab you guys when, um, when I'm done then. <laughs> awesome. Okay, that was a pretty good yield. Uh, we ended up with, you know, 1,200 ore, which works out to about 2,500. It's going to be about 2,500 um, Zascosium ingots. So not bad. We're getting there. We're getting what we need. We're going to need at least double or triple that amount to really get what we want so we need some a restroom now i'm thinking now that we are 20th level we're going to want to put a drill on this thing to make it easier to get resources um i mean i know we want to keep doing the content and whatnot but i also want to bring in a better vehicle so i mean all that leads to we need we need more resources I got to find gold because if we find gold, we can make. Yeah, where is it here? If we find gold, we can make all four items. It's just super expensive. And the higher end stuff needs the. Uh, well, that doesn't. The small stuff doesn't need anything except for energy matrix oscillators well that's weird so the matrix need matrix okay i get it but in order to make the the cpu components you need like you need like a ridiculous amount of these bridges um like way more than what you need how many off matrix i think you need like four matrix and like 12 of the bridges or something like that <clears throat> from what i remember to make a tier four vehicle or base so same goes for the large ones too um i believe to make the cpu extender here let's take a look it's right here I haven't taken them yet, but so this is for the base. There's base and so large optonic matrix one, power coil six, and CPU extender T3 of one. So we need an extender, a large matrix, and six power coils to make a CV tier 4 
and you got to put four of those in. So that means we need to make four additional T3 extenders along with the four large optomic matrix. And then you also need the original two T3 extenders in also. So the T3 extenders, uh, two large optomic bridges, and then the, uh, uh, the T2 don't require any of the special parts. But these do. Two large optomic bridges. So, whew, two of those. So let's do the math. We need to make, we need one of those in each of the tier four. And we need four of the tier four. So we need four, eight of the large bridges. And then the original two that go in also have two more each. So that's uh, 12. We need 12 large optom optronic bridges and four of the matrix. Wow, 12. So we need 12 of the optronics devices. And I believe that goes the same. Yeah, CPU extender. Oh, these only require one. Okay. Um... So that's four, and then the original two is six. So they, the vessels, the small vessel and the hover vessel only require, well, that's HV. What's the H, SV? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> the SV is two. Okay, so it's just the HV. So the HV, you can actually make, a tier 4 HB for only six small optronic bridges, uh, but you still got to, you still need the four matrix. So the HB will be cheaper, cheapest to make tier 4. Okay, well, that makes sense. It's the cheapest overall in materials, really. Uh, although you can make combat steel, yes, so it gets a little sappy and heavy, it could be. That's fine. So that's one of the things we want to get. We want to get two more of those small ones so that we can at least make a tier 3. And I have a tier 3 made. Um, so we've got Fighter 12. It's a little different than most of the things I make. Uh, I threw it together pretty quickly. I mean, it's it's not the greatest looking thing, but whatever. It's going to be fairly cheap to make. Um, needs four of those bridges, though. That's okay. We've got two of them, so we're halfway there. But it's going to need uh, a restroom. Zasko's in. We don't have any restroom, really. I don't even think we can salvage any at this point. Uh, the Neo and Sath, no problem. Everything else should be easy. We do have to go mine up a bunch of copper, though. So, um, yeah, a restroom. I mean, I guess we should continue on. We were we were going to warp, right? So we were Ruthen, and then we're going to go to... So we got... We ended up getting... How did we get Saskosium out of the... Oh, no, that's... I'm like, what the hell? Oh, yeah, in the... Um, I don't think I grabbed all the Pentaxid. I doubt I did, anyway. There is copper in orbit here. 
Hmm. Might be worth hunting around for that. What about uh, here? We've got silicone magnesium neopentaxid promethium. Hmm. I think I want to get to here and call it an episode. So let's warp to here because I think we'll go back to the starter planet and mine the shit out of it. <laughs> Whatever that starter planet was. I think it had all the base necessities. So let's go there. We should have everything made now. It looked like we had all the... Um, not that one. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay, let's throw that in. See, I can still put a lot more in too. So I guess we can warp like 200 SU or whatever they call it. Light year. I don't even know if they do call it light year. I'd have to look it up. I forget. Now. <laughs> anyway, uh, God, should we go check to see if that Pentaxid, I think we mine that up. If it's, if it's showing on our thing, it's, it's mined up. I don't leave Pentaxid behind when I find it. So unless I can't get to it, then, then it's left behind and I'm not going for it anyway. So, uh, let's warp. Okay. Um, just gonna grab some food really quick here. Don't have any in the fridge, do I? It's okay. I probably got some. Yeah, I've got some of these on me. Haven't eaten in a while. Should have bought some food at the um, trader. That's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. We don't want. Those are red dots. Those aren't purplish red, but those are red red. Yeah, so that means they're aliens at least, if not Xerax. Okay, well, let's get the heck out of here. A drone scout. Yeah, we're out of here. We're out of here. Let's find out where we're going. So it was this long teleport. I get it from here? No. Come on. Come on. I got the pataxa cooked up for it and everything. There we go. 109. Woo! This is a big warp. Where is it? Down over here. Somewhere. There we go. Take a glance at whatever that is going by, and it warps in, and we warp out. <laughs> it is kind of close to the warp lane, isn't it? Okay, so that was a huge warp, and oh, cool. Okay, so we've got a... Um, ooh. I, did I just see something warp in down there? I saw a flash. That's usually a CV warping in. Or what I mean by warping in is like uh, appearing. Uh, so that's really cool. What do we got here? What do we got? We've got... Oh, there's trading station out in orbit. Really? Iron, silicone, copper, cobalt, promethium. Difficult, easy, sovereignty, contested. Okay, well, whatever. Temperature minus 18, minus 118. We can put on a EVA if we need to. Difficulty 2, that's nothing. Radiation is nothing. Okay, it should be pretty easy to do stuff here. Let's take a look at... Oops, that's not it. Let's take a look at um, what we got in the way of planet info. So it's got the, the basic stuff. Uh, we'll go check out this odd temperate. That sounds really cool. And then a desert moon. Difficulty three with all the standard deserty sort of 
This moon is a work in progress and is not yet complete. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, come on, get the other one. That one, same thing. So they're both identical. Yeah, they look, other than temperature, they are pretty much the same thing. Atmosphere density, temperature, and gravity are pretty close to each other. Size, difficulty is the same. Okay, so we can get resources from there. Cobalt, magnesium, pentaxid from both those. Uh, and what was in the orbit again? There's no pentaxid, it's just the promethium cobalt. Okay, so you know what? We're going to go down to the planet um, so that's the moon there that's a moon huh so this is the odd planet eh okay well I'm gonna head to the odd planet and next episode we will explore it and hopefully find a place. We might even set up a base there temporary to uh, do some processing if there's enough resources. We might. It would really suck out here in orbit. I bet you we'll do better with with a base for. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah, it's just maybe not. We might not do very good for solar energy out on the planet either. So, well, next episode we will check this out. And, oh, oh, while we're here, while we're here, let's check out our warp, new warp lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? There we go. What's this? What's this? Ocean starter. Patrol vessel. Ooh. Ooh. And, ooh, something way the hell out here. Can I click on you? Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, you bugger. I don't like this. How it, how, like it just, oh my god. It takes forever. And it doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't seem to uh, be as easy to navigate around on the new thing. So we can go to a frozen inferno. What is that? The Rados faction of the Xerox Empire has established multiple missile research facilities on this bleak. Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound like we're somewhere we've got to go yet. That doesn't sound like a fun time yet. Maybe, maybe later when we can deal with it. So no, let's not do that. Okay, now we've got to zoom all the way over again. There must be a faster way to do this. I'm drag, 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 and then, and then what? And then, I don't know, the WASD seems really slow. Is that just for fine-tuning and then you drag it around for to be faster? Uh, I guess. Okay. And then release. Yeah, uh, okay. So, just got to get used to it. Um, so basically by holding down the left button, you can spin it around super fast and then come in at a different angle. Oh, can you? Maybe not. Probably got to move it manually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's stop screwing around with this. What is this? We got a pummeled desert. A pummeled desert. Okay, so I think I've already been there, right? Tigid? Maybe not. Maybe not, because if if so, we would have been able to connect to here and here. I would have. I would have been able. Maybe I haven't been there yet. Difficulty three. It's got all the. 
No, it doesn't have the basics. It doesn't have silicone. Water discovered. Once barren, deep meter strikes have brought unknown sources of water to the surface and with it life. Okay. Rados and Polaris compete for resources. Epsilon faction has recently moved in. Okay. Um, so it looks like, ooh, ooh, gold. Gold. And a restroom. I don't think there's going to be much, though, on the starter. It'll be a tiny little, tiny little fine, probably not even enough to make a single ingot. Um, and I'm not even joking there. It'll be, it'll be like three or four freaking ore. Uh, okay. And then... Can I get over to... No. See, I still... Still not as easy to maneuver around with this new map. The interface is a little bit kludgy. And then, okay, so, ugh. Yeah. Whatever. What is that? It is an asteroid field. Less stuff we've already. We're we're looking for a restroom. So right now the um, what was this right? Start. It's not going to have much though. It's going to have a tiny little, a tiny little millichunk of gold in the restroom, and it's not going to be worth it. <laughs> <sighs> Ah, okay. Well, next episode we're gonna go uh, explore that and oh, 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 where we got going here. Do we got something coming up to us here? Yep, that's a little. Uh, we've got a jet down. To see, see the um, the drone, space drone. There's a space drone right in front of us. I don't really feel like taking it on. Uh, it's not necessarily necessary. <laughs> so let's head up this way. We'll just take the brakes off and start coasting. Okay, guys. Next episode, we'll check this out. And we'll see what's up. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.